Well, a big meeting on a big project. In fact, it's the second of two meetings in two nights on the proposed $107 million redevelopment of the Edgewater. News 3's Linda Eggert has more live from the historic hotel downtown. Linda? Well, hi guys. Well, last night it was the Landmarks Commission that uh, heard from some residents on some specific historic concerns. Tonight, it is much more general. In fact, anyone who is interested can attend a 730 meeting at Bethel Lutheran Church uh, to hear a lot more about this project and to learn firsthand about it and also to ask some important questions. Now, in addition to the Boston architect that's running the uh, project here and city staff, developer uh, Bob Dunn is expected to be on hand to describe his $100 million dream for the unique lakefront location at Langdon Street. It includes adding 130 hotel rooms, building a new 11-story tower, and connecting new and old hotel parts with the 45,000-square-foot terrace and grand staircase down to the lakefront. So far, reaction has been mixed. Some don't like the tall tower or fear the current view from Langdon will be blocked. It has a lot of really great um, potential for the city, for the neighborhood, um, but there's a lot of obstacles as well, and there's a lot of sensitivity with the neighborhood that it's in. It's, a, it's the, oldest, the city's oldest historic district. And that is, of course, the Mansion Hill Historic District. Many in it say the project flies in the face of its historic character. Others think the time is right to showcase this prestigious and historic spot with what is on the table. Now, whatever happens to this project and its magnificent lakefront view, as you can see, has a long way to go, including debate over over $16 million in, million dollars in TIF money from the city that the developer is currently asking for. Still, tonight is a good time for residents to uh, find out exactly what's going on, ask some questions, and maybe then they can formulate opinions and weigh in formally as the city committee process moves along. And this will be going to just about every city committee possible, I'm told. It'll be a long one. Linda Eggert reporting live from downtown. Linda, thanks.